Uh, I saw these a while ago. I meant to bring them up, but didn't. Mm -hmm. Do you know that Gucci makes dice? Oh my gosh, Gucky dice. Um, so that, they're only Adam Driver films about three hundred and fifteen pounds. Um, How much for the like off-brand, like Grucky dice? <laughs> Grucky, <laughs> way cheaper, I'm sure. Three hundred fifteen pounds. Wow. Um, kind of gross, but people were heavily distraught that the logo mm. was on the one and not on the six. But it makes more sense because it's a small, what, single... So instantly, that's logic to me. Yeah. Uh, if you had a one and then a six, these would be illegible. Yeah. Um, they are a bit gross, aren't they? Really not high contrast either. No. Like, especially, look, that four from this far away, that's really hard to read. That's hard to read. Yeah, they're... Super difficult to read. Uh, also, they're not even engraved, are they? That's just screen printed. Yeah, I don't know how. If it's printed on, or if there's something, you'd feel like you're getting some. There must be some kind of. It can't just be printed on for, for three hundred fifty <laughs> pounds. Can we get more info? Uh, so one other thing, uh, there must be. Uh, oh, hold on, scroll down on the right hand side. Um, Recalling the house's heritage in the world of sports and leisure, mm. the Overture Collection presents a selection of tabletop games. Channeling this playful spirit, this set of dice numbers are marked with stars and the interlocking G. The set is presented in Demetra, an eco-friendly material that combines animal-free raw materials primarily from sustainable renewable bio-based sources. Uh, it does... Oh, the set is enriched by Gucci's monogram. Okay. Um, uh, so they are just resin dice. They're not even like... So like, I could have these made. I could go to a dice maker yeah. and get this for like 20 quid. Yeah. Maybe less. They've done nothing fancy or interesting or special. Yeah. Wow. Super, super boring. So how many have you bought? Well, you know, I didn't want to run out. <laughs> I need a whole set. <laughs> yeah. I just have an orc army, so, you know, I'm rolling a lot of dice Rolling like once. 60d6 per attack. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, like, uh, mm. ends up getting down a bit of a fucking rabbit hole of mm -hmm. um, different, just ridiculous fucking brands of oh, dice. Wow, say, like, Supreme do dice as well, but they only made 10, so, you know, yeah, they've got to charge a thousand pound a piece. They were selling for, and they, they're just well, also ugly dice. At least they're aluminium. They're different. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that is yeah. a selling point. I already rate these higher than the Gucci dice. I guess you can't get them anymore. No, because that's how Supreme works, right? But yeah, I think, I think they were like £400 when they came out. Wow. Five fucking dice. Five fucking metal like dice. Louis, Louis Vuitton, they did theirs. Oh my God, geek culture has they really, will. like, taken over. Oh, maybe it was the Louis Vuitton and Supreme combined. I think maybe those are off-brand. I don't fucking know. Um, but they were just super expensive. See, dice, they're for fashionistas as well. Not just cool people like me. Wow. How do you feel now? Because, like, I know that often you like stuff that, no, that people, like, the you know, the, uh, the hipster vibe. You like a thing that, like, not everyone else likes. Like, you like the Thunder Warriors because they're weird and niche. Yeah. So now that dice have become so mainstream, uh, gross. Are you, are you abandoning the whole collection? I don't know. I think uh, I think I, I will freely admit some people enjoyed dice before. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> I made it kill. <laughs> uh, but yeah, do you want to get, get these? They still sell them. Louis, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, oh, fuck, you just can't buy, you can't buy any of this shit. No, that's, uh, that's why it works, because it's it's exclusive, Tom. You have to buy it immediately or it'll be gone forever. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I What's them. the world's most expensive dice? Oh. Um, I know they did, uh, like, m like weird meteor dice and shit like that. Ooh. That's exciting. Meteoric iron. Yeah, you know, that was a magic item. Uh, oh my god, okay, we got well up. Should, do you want to do prices rights? 
Oh. So we've already had um, whatever this is. What are they made out of? D and dice. Uh, Six dice. Heat-treated titanium, solid tungsten, and Dam solid Damascus steel. Oh. Okay, between one and five hundred dollars. So let's scroll down to the next one. Not look at the price and try and um, judge it. It's like runic dice. So they they must be getting more expensive, right? Yeah. But that last one, one to five hundred dollars. That was like the set. Oh. Oh, oh five hundred. Not too far. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad at this. So these are just tungsten. Tung is tungsten just really expensive? Is, what is tungsten? It's just like a hard metal, right? Yeah, it's really hard. It's sort of hard to work because you could have special hard tools. Okay. I think they make it's one of the components of like anti tank shells. Ooh. They're like tungsten tipped. Uh, that makes sense. Something like that. Maybe it's not anymore. Was there like a something a song with like a tungsten chariot? Is that? Um, What's that? What am I thinking of? <laughs> Was there a tungsten chariot? Sounds like a bad thing to make a vehicle out of something that's so incredibly dense. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, hmm. I mean, these are nice dice. I like the runic design. I like the metal, but whew, $500. That's a lot. Okay. What about these? More tungsten. Jeez, is that the thing? Dubbed the Table Destroyer. Nice. <laughs> Fuck. Like, Ruined it again. You be I'm in charge. I'm going to do the, the mouse for a little bit. <laughs> um, I get £634. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> nice. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, they're okay. They're uglier than the first ones. Yeah. I kind of I like these ones probably the most so far. Oh, these ones are, these are honestly disgusting. Yeah, why are they three hundred dollars? Like they look real cheap and nasty. They they look super cheap. Yeah. Is that actually like a sapphire oh, on the twenty? Uh, oh, the world's, world's smallest, smallest dice. dice. That's fun. Is it microscopic? But can you actually buy this? Is one of the things. Hmm. Or is it just like this was made? And it cost this much to make. How do you roll it? Uh, I imagine carefully. 0 0.1 millimeter each side. Wow, one tenth of a millimeter. That's like smaller than this. Just, you could, you could have it and just you wouldn't even know you had it's it. Gone. <laughs> You'd be like, "Do I have it? I can't." Do tell. I? Yeah, yeah. Some guy sells you a baggie <laughs> yeah. with just a tiny dot in there, and you're like, "Unless you've got a great microscope." <laughs> is this a bag of lint or is it a bag of thirty you have no dots? No idea. <laughs> uh, how much do you think? Ooh, took nine hours to produce. Thousand dollars. Oh, oh wait, it already says eight hundred. Oh, eight hundred and eighty. Oh. Oh, well, that ruins this game. It was <laughs> right, let's not read the text at all then on the next one. Let's just look at the picture and the title. Okay. Uh, is this bone? Um, Usyk. Usyk. I don't know what that means. If we read that the first bone? line of it. Uh, moose poop. Oh, mammoth ivory. So I remember, like, saw a Kickstarter where they were making... Um, They'd got like a fucking mammoth tusk, hmm. and they're like, "We can make like 800 dice out of this." So that's as many as we can sell. Wow. Um, Prehistoric mammoth dice, which is kind of rad. That is cool. Um, I feel like there's probably something better we could make out of it, though. Nah. <laughs> make a dice. Um, <laughs> same with a meteor. Just carve one d6 out of the middle of the trunk, throw the rest away. Yeah, yeah, that's how you do it, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how my boy cuts paper. <laughs> yeah, it just cuts out the very <laughs> centre. You'll get like a cardboard box. He's like, I'm going to make something. Right, here's a sword. I'm cutting out this cut. And he just cuts it out of the middle and wastes the rest I'm, of the box. I'm pretty sure I've done the same. Because you might draw it in the middle. And <laughs> yeah. then you cut into it. And then all the way around. <laughs> so wasteful. Um, oh. These, for a set, £1,800. Pounds. Ooh, no. 
Moose turds? I bet they're pretty cheap. I'm going to say $900. Uh, well, I think I'm it's thinking all... for like the ivory, the mammoth ivory. But it also says moose poop. Uh. <gasps> wow. $2,800. Ooh. Oh, you win this round, sir. Um, and this is like the Roman one, right? It's like the yeah, oldest. They, like, this doesn't count because you can't buy this. There's only one in the world. It was sold at auction. Oh, God, 17,000 was in the article. Fuck me. Mm. So I don't think that counts as, like, you know, a thing that's just, like, on sale. No. Like, artisan dice. Can we search just, like, search their entire inv? Chat is going crazy for walrus penis. <laughs> yeah, apparently Usik Us Us is a walrus penis bone. Why do they have bones in their penis? Wait, you don't have a bone in your penis? Why do you I think it's called a boner? Because oh, the, the penis, like the penis bone, it slides out of your <laughs> pelvis and into the meat. <laughs> it makes it rigid. Yeah, that's I how it works. I must have broke mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, that's so hard to break because like tiny bones are normally really difficult to actually... Yeah. I mean, maybe it's... Maybe I just don't, it's so small I haven't noticed. It's like, you know, when you eat fish bones in your... Oh, he just, just, <laughs> just chopped that realize. down. Yeah. Uh, okay. Dice. I just want... Myconid my dice. Isn't that like plant? Is that plant men? Um, Myconids. I don't know. Bioluminescent spore. The fabled myconids. Yeah, that's like a plant man. That, oh. But not in real life, right? Yeah, these guys. They ground up the flesh of these boys to make dice. Yeah. Aww. The but they look like such fun guys. Nice. I was just like waiting to get that one in as well. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, I just want like a shop. I just want to sort by most expensive. Uh, Manticore dice. High flow. What's it going to be? Da, 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 da. Oh, it's the oh, war stick. War stick. Wow. Uh, Mammoth ivory. Oh, the memento mori though. It's a single die. Oh, but well, it's still that. Let's have a look at it. What are the options? What what bumps up the price? What is memento mori? Um, it's a Harry like, Potter thing, right? I thought that was like a death curse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to where your wand remembers the last person you killed or something? I can't remember. Oh. Um, From the Latin, memini, meaning to remember. Meme. Memes. Sterling silver. Uh, okay, what's it actually... Why is it so expensive? Oh, it's actually made out of human bone. <gasps> is that legal? I think I've heard of this, that it was like an old skeleton from a school. Oh. Uh, they bonated it. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, but it, look, it gives you plus two on all healing checks to cure spells. It's steeped in medical law. Oh, uh, okay. That's better than like plus two on necromancy or something. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I could get like... a bit spooky. Mm. Why is it? I don't understand why the price is so. Oh, well, that's for the set. I see. Wow. So it's just a cool three grand for a, for a set of polyhedral boner dice. Boner dice. Wow. We should get into the dice making business, Tom. Yeah. I don't think they cost that much to make. Just find some bones. Yeah. Make some dice. I mean, you can make them out of chicken bones. No one's going to know. Yeah, those dice are going to be real small, though. Are they going to DNA test their dice? Oh, you should, though. If you're spending, like, <laughs> fucking three grand, I want a paternity <laughs> yeah, test. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Turns out this was made out of walrus tailbone. Not what the fuck? fuck? Not walrus dick. <laughs> I paid top dollar for walrus dick. Yeah, that's it. Ah, <laughs> oh, this one's look nice. I've been cheated. Gator jawbone. Ooh, why is it, so like... why is it red? 
Well, it's like the. Hmm. For those who aren't aware, bone makes for horrible dice. It's porous, <laughs> oddly shaped, prone to chipping, and the large pieces we need to make the dice are hollow and spongy to the middle, thanks to the marrow. For the longest time, we'd say, no, sorry, we don't make bone dice. Um, but then it turns out, if you just cover it in fucking resin, it's fine. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> They're basically resin dice with a bit of bone inside. Right. Hmm. We come from an alligator farm. Uh, so the white bit is the bone, and the red bit is the resin. So they just slather a jawbone in resin and then carve it into a dice shape. Okay, so... Mm. Yeah. No, I didn't have deep kin dice, are they? No, not one bit. And then way more expensive. Um. Mm. Okay. Well, uh. Sure. But they look like 50% resin. Maybe more. So they more. should be 50% cheaper, right? Yeah. Only like less than half bone. It's less than half bone. And I ain't paying for half a bone. <laughs> <laughs> I want full bone on nothing. <laughs> yeah. I've got, I've got half bones at home. Oh god! <laughs> wow. Uh, so anyway, right? Anyway. We, uh, looked at some dice. Very cool. Uh, that's the world's most expensive dice. There right. it is. We did it. Uh, cool. These are the world's second most expensive dice. <laughs> wow. <laughs>